what's up YouTube so today we all know that tag released uh, their 8.4 jailbreak and not some of and not all of you know but some of you may have actually used a leaked early version of the jailbreak which was known as PP jailbreak uh, I actually used this jailbreak on this iPad just as a test just to show that it functioned uh, just for educational purposes Unfortunately, the jailbreak has some bugs in it, and you guys need to know if you did use this tool, what to do at this point to actually fix this final bug. So before you continue, I had put my iPad in um, the airplane mode here, so we'll just turn it back on. What I'm going to do, I've already opened City at once to do the loading system files, so I'm going to open City again. This is the first time I've been able to open City. When you do this jailbreak with the PP, jailbreak for iOS 8.4 which you guys can see when I scroll down here I'm on iOS 8.4 you need to reinstall Cydia the reason is because Cydia in this jailbreak itself is actually broken it they didn't modify and move the files over so as you can see PP untethered jailbreak what I need to do is this Cydia installer here you need to modify and reinstall this is very, very important. If you do not do this, this means that when you reboot your device with a password on, your device will get stuck in a boot loop. So very, very important, you guys. Please definitely do this. This is, this is an unavoidable thing. Now, you should do a respring after you've done that. It jumped past it, didn't allow me to do the respring. So what I'm gonna do, because it didn't allow me to do the respring, is I'm gonna go back in and I'm even gonna do this one more time. Because I wanna make sure that this device is going to be stable. Now, I probably will update this device very soon because of the nature of this jailbreak. We have no idea if it's gonna be stable or not and the tag jailbreak will be updated a lot more. So as you can see there, City is still glitching out. I am actually forced to just do a power cycle on the device, which is okay, I was gonna power cycle it anyways. When you do the PP jailbreak, which I really don't suggest doing, but if you do, you have to do this so that your device will boot again without, or with or without a password. So my device will now boot because of I've done this and yours should too. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.